Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be studying together. So I am preparing just my mug of water and a light study snack in the kitchen before I head upstairs to my computer to start studying. Once I'm upstairs at my computer, I'm going to log in and go to Picmonic. So as you guys know, I am a paperless student, so along with Picmonic, I will be using the lectures provided by my professor on my iPad. So Picmonic is really great for visual learners, so I'm going to go in and select the Picmonic that I'm going to be studying in conjunction with this PowerPoint. ...of a man being infected until he becomes a full-blown band-aid. Shortly after infection, the patient with HIV will briefly experience the primary infection stage, shown by the number one foam finger viral infection. The primary infection stage of HIV occurs within three weeks of the initial infection, shown by the within three tree weeks. During this period, the patient may develop flu-like symptoms, shown by the CD4 fork with less than 200 tooth barriers. So to review, HIV stages include the primary infection stage, which is within the first three weeks, and patients may present with flu-like symptoms. The asymptomatic stage can last for years. While the so I like to use Picmonic along with the PowerPoints just because it's really great just for visualization and the characters and cartoons that they use really help to simplify concepts that can sometimes be confusing. So I highly recommend Picmonic as a supplement to your learning. And if you guys want to check out Picmonic, you can look in the description box of this video where I have a code that will allow you to sign up for Picmonic and get two weeks free. So I'm just going to continue studying and you guys will see me going back and forth between the PowerPoint and various picmonics and I'm just going to be using this method for about two hours and that's the time that I set aside to study for this particular section um, before I take a break. This picmonic describes hypersensitivity type 4, the hypersensitive crying with 4 fork. This reaction is also known as delayed type hypersensitivity, the delayed sign. This hypersensitivity is T cell mediated, the T cell tennis ball, and is antibody independent, the antibody independence protest. T cells presented with antigens lead to macrophage activation, the MACMEN activated.
Now, I also went into my pathophysiology book, which I downloaded as an ebook as well on my iPad, as you guys can see. So I did some in-depth reading on a particular section. So I incorporated that into my studying. As you guys can see here, I'm reading a bit into humoral immunity. That's the section that I'm looking at. I know you guys can't see, but I went into the book and then as you guys can see on the computer, if you can read that, I have the Humoral Adaptive Immunity Pycmonic open as well. So everyone has to tailor their learning style to what works best for them. So I just incorporate multiple elements that can help me understand concepts in a way that works best for me. So like I said, I utilize the book, what's provided by my professors, Picmonic, and then I find the Advanced Pathos Study Guide book to be very helpful as well. That was recommended at the start of the course by my professor. So I utilize that as well as I'm studying for this class. So I just wanted to incorporate this little study video just to kind of give you guys a look at how I study and how I utilize all of these elements for Advanced Patho. If you guys liked this video, leave your comments or give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want more videos like this. And as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!